remember a couple videos ago when we said we were going to be doing our ranking of the Nightmare on Elm Street videos? Or I do remember that. Well, and I've get... been doing my research for it, too. Okay, well then get ready, Freddy, because we're going to do it right now. Yes, we are. Jenny, kick it off. Pick all right. Pick whichever one that you want to go with. And we are ranking all of the Robert England ones, which is uh, Nightmare 1 through... Six. Five. Six was... One Freddy, through five, Freddy's, Freddy's dead. dead. West New Craig's Nightmare. Manor, Freddy vs. Jason, and the Jackie Earl Haley remake, remake. from 2010. Nine or ten. Nine or ten, somewhere in that. I know, one of them was 2009 and one of them was 2010 with Friday, Friday the 13th and, and uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah. They were both remade in that right time frame. Okay, anyways, I'm going first. Boom! 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 Nope. There we go. Oh, okay. I got Nightmare on Elm Street 2. Uh, Freddy's Revenge. The super duper queer one. <laughs> Which, honestly... Um, upon doing my research for doing our ranking video, I don't hate this as much as I thought I did. There's definitely worse in the series than this. Uh, but it, it definitely needs to go low. Low. Mm. Low. Um, at least to C. I'm saying D. D? Or, or lower. Okay. I, I'm good with D. I would personally I put it, I lower. personally would put it in F. I think it's the worst one of the series. But do you really? Yes, oh do. my gosh. I think... Okay, we'll get to it later. Um, I want to put it in D. It's my it's my turn to, to pick, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in D. Which, by the way, it's if, definitely if, a low one in this. If you've forgotten how this works, we can only put one in S tier, and we have to put at least, at one, least one in F tier. There can be more. There can be more. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go right about. That one, right yeah. there. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> she gets the giggle. <laughs> I, I know. I know where Jenny oh. wants to put this one. <laughs> I see it now. The remake, which I personally did enjoy. Uh, it, there were certain things that I thought that they took liberties with. I did. I did like the uh, almost twist that that Freddie was innocent in it. Yes. The almost. the almost twist. Almost it, it, it was. Twist, it, it wasn't actually. It was. It was a great plot device. Though. For sure. For sure. Um. I, I honestly like. This is the only one, out of all of them, where it is confirmed that he's a child molester. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. It's only implied in the uh, Robin one series, but this one he is straight up confirmed to be a child molester. Mm -hmm. All right. Look, I'm okay with moving this to F tier. Oh really. I am okay with moving this to F tier and keep it, because it does have its merits. I think there's some really cool things that this movie, movie did do. I want to put this in C tier. Oh! Oh! Really? But, but if you move that to F tier, I'll put it in D tier. Okay, cool. Cool. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with this compromise. <laughs> I'm good with this. Because I do think it has its merits, but I also think that there is... Way too much CGI, which I think... Um, uh, yes, it did hurt it, but... I think it hurt the film, but it also made the the original effects seem... It made it seem like they were like, we can do all that with computers. <laughs> and, like, it just... It made, it made it feel to me like they were kind of, like, forgetting about all the cool practical effects that were originally I mean, I'll, used. I'll, I'll, I'll give you that. But it like, is a product of its time with the CGI. Right. Too, uh, so. I, I I, just, I enjoyed it because I don't think Jackie Earl Haley got a fair shake. And I, I, agree. I think he did a great job. With, I agree. With I think people given. just gave him so much trash because it wasn't Robert. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. All right, my turn. I'm going to reach across. Nope. It's like you had it and then you smacked it down and it got stuck. Oof. Another, why do I keep putting, we, we have just like started at the bottom of the barrel. Well, you know what that means, it can only go up from here. That's right, that's right. Okay, so I've got Freddy's Dead, which is the sixth in the series. Mm -hmm. Um, For me personally, this is, I think, where things just go off the rails in the Robert England one. Yes. I mean, uh, the only thing that I actually enjoyed about this one was uh, Alice Cooper. Yeah, yeah, agreed. Um, there, there's just things Breck and Meyer was kind of funny. Uh, the, oh, but it's so stupid with Johnny, the Game Boy thing. Right. And it's just, oh. jo Johnny Depp's cameo, which yeah. he was already in one, which it, it just kind of like makes you like, what? Yeah, yeah. I mean, but, there's, there's a lot of like funny things about this, but this movie, one, it's not horror. 
It's, it's straight more comedy. up comedy. I, I'm um, saying, and it's not really that good. No, I'm saying D tier. I'll though. agree with you on that one. Yep. I'll agree. All, All right, right let's I'm, get I'm better going, from here. We're gonna I'm go up. We're gonna going, go up. All the way over. Ah, yes, yes, we are going up. Yeah, are we? Yeah, are yeah. we? Hell yeah! Dream Warriors! Dream Warriors, baby. This is the one that inspired us to do our ranking video. Right, I mean, we just, and if you haven't seen that, go check that out. We'll, we'll drop a link in that. Yes, for sure. Um, This is, you know, honestly for me, this is a top three. So it's either, uh, I'm, I have to put it in A, though. Yeah, yeah, I'll agree with you. I'll agree with you. For me, it's an S tier. It's, it's the most superior in the whole group for me. Um... Simply because, and I said this in our video when we when we covered this, mm -hmm. um, it's when we really get the the super ingenious kills that are personal. Right. We get a mm -hmm. lot. We get Freddy's fun one-liners, but he's still scary. He's mm -hmm. not a joke of himself yet. Right. Um, Unlike which he definitely was happens in, in like dead. four, five, six. Yeah, definitely. And Freddy's dead. He's an absolute joke of himself. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I for me this is number one. For me, but I think I, I think I know what's gonna go in the top tier. I mean, it's only one of two possibilities. Right, right. So. <laughs> all right, so let's see all if right. you can pull it. Come on. All right, on. let me see here. This one. That one. Right. There it is. There it is. <laughs> like I, like it was, it was calling. The me, original. Backing me. The one that started it all. The house that Freddie built. New Line Cinemas original. Nightmare on Elm Street. It always, I mean, this just goes straight to the top. It is, not only is it the original. Mm, I, you can't have it, you can't have any of these without It's this. one of the most scary out it, of it, all of them. It's it's scary, it's original, it's it's a new take on a slasher that hadn't been seen before. It's, and we've got a slasher that's actually talking. Mm -hmm, as opposed to, you know, from one, having like, the likes like of Michael, Michael and, and Jason. Jason. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, I'm like burping over here. Mm -hmm. Don't mind me. <laughs> but yeah, we finally get like a clever, witty, witty killer, killer and, yeah. and and he's scary as shit. Mm -hmm. Really scary in this first one. God, um, this is gold. Yeah, exactly. Uh, S tier? S tier. S tier, absolutely. Yep, you just can't get better than the original. The OG. I'm going right here. Dream Master. <laughs> Nightmare 4. Uh, I'll be honest, it's been a while since I've seen this one. Yeah, I haven't actually watched 4, 5, or 6. I mean, I kind of did like a, like I read up on them on IMDb to kind of give myself like a, mm -hmm. a quick overview. Um, they do expand upon the whole, um... So this is part of the, uh, the Bastard Dream Son Trilogy. Of 100 Maniacs. Yeah, so this is part of the Dream Trilogy. Mm -hmm. It includes Dream Warriors, Dream, Warriors, Dream Master, Master, and, and Dream, Dream Child. Child. Um... Obviously, things go off the rails a little bit, a little bit more mm -hmm. with each one as we go further in. I'm saying C two. Yeah, I would agree with you. Yep. I don't know. It could almost be a B. Almost. It could. It, it could. could. I mean, it it's, could. it's better than Dream Child for yes, sure. For sure. Absolutely. Um, no, she's gonna pull Dream Child. Just gonna slide in here like this. What do I got? What do I got? Dream child. Dream child. There it is. Called it. All right. So yeah, this is uh, Nightmare Five. Mm -hmm. Um, I, honestly, how are we putting so much stuff in D level? Is there really that much bad in this in this franchise? Well, I I thought that this one should be higher, but I still disagree. <laughs> <laughs> it had its merits. It did. It did have its merits. I'll die on um, this film. I, I, I'm putting this one in D. Um, I definitely don't think it's as good as Dream Master. Um, things get really weird in this mm -hmm. movie. Um, and what's up with the eyeball thing? I don't know. Um, like the eyeballs popping out. Yeah, I don't know because it's definitely like not part it's of just the those film. two. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. Um, yeah, this movie, this movie is where things start to get a little bit weird. Uh, Freddy has got all of his quippy one-liners, mm -hmm. and it's definitely getting to the point where, like, it's it's a parody of itself. Oh, yeah, it's definitely. Point. Yeah. I'm going right. There can be only two. Uh -huh. And they're two of my favorites. Uh, this, so. one, this one is actually one of my all-time favorites in the series. Freddy versus Jason. 
the movie that fought for years to get made. Uh, for sure. It was teased at the end of uh, Jason Goes J- to Hell. Jason Goes to Hell, yep. Uh, which, by the way, that was Kane Hodder's hand, hand in the glove, the glove coming up and dragging down Jason's mm-hmm. hockey mask. So Kane Hodder is the only, the only person to portray both Jason and Freddy on film. Even if, though if he only played that. Freddy's hand. Right. But doesn't matter. It's the most important part of Freddy. That's right. It's what makes um, Freddy Freddy. I want to put this in A tier. I really Absolutely. do. Because Absolutely. Absolutely I, I feel A-tier. like it belongs I would up there. almost put it up there with number one. Right. right. Honestly, I don't know if it's nostalgia. I don't know if it was just the time that this it's movie defi- came I mean, out. I'm, definitely for us, it's nostalgia. It's the only one that you that we both went to theaters Saw to in the see. theater. Yep. Uh, All the these other ones were out before was we were able to see. Fucking them. banger. So good. So good. Right. Um. It's it's such a funny movie. It's a return to form for Freddy, and Freddy's actually still kind of scary. There's some honky, weird CGI stuff, like the mm. CGI worm. I'm totally fine with those things. Like, oh, I the, cat, think the caterpillar with the hookah? Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, I yeah. think it's hilarious. I it's think definitely it's a product of its time. Fun. It's a product of its time. But it's like, I mean, there's just so I mean, much good about it. It was directed by Ronnie Yu, who uh, is not, was no, at this point, was no stranger no. to horror. He actually had done uh, Bride of Chucky in, what was it, 97? Yeah. In 97, and they actually, if, if you've seen Bride of Chucky, there are hints to other horror movie villains in uh-huh. that film. Uh, yeah. Specific, oh, yeah. Specific, specifically, Jason, Freddy, and Mike. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, they show his, the glove and the, the mask, mask and, and yeah. the fedora yeah. and everything. Yeah. You know? Well, obviously, there's only one left. Huh. Well, Freddy, my boy, this one is a role where we got... Both Robert Lee England as himself mm-hmm. and playing Freddy in a completely different way. Robert England, Heather Langenkamp, Wes Craven playing himself. Bob Shea playing himself. Bob Shea. And um, John Saxon is yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there was a lot of like big cameos, like literal people from the mm-hmm. studio, from New Line. Um, yeah, I personally, this, at least to be... Um, oh no! It's definitely I think B. it's actually scary. I think it, it's when, it is scary. I don't. I, I did not like the the new glove for this yeah. one with the the five. And I don't knives. necessarily think that I liked Freddy's look, but I understand why they changed it all. Because he's not Freddy. He's the actual dream demon. Exactly. That was exactly. like possessing Freddy or whatever. Yeah. So yeah, so yeah definitely B. Definitely a B for me too. Um. Yeah. It sucks that there's so many bad ones. So. Uh, I mean, the, the you still you're gonna die on that hill, aren't you? Yeah, no. It's, 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 <laughs> some higher. Sorry. Um, I, I don't should, know. I should, I, you know what? I'm, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna do All this. right. I'm gonna do this. You gonna put it between? Yep. Yeah, yeah, we did that with one of them. Can't do that right there. over here. <laughs> Come back over here. Make room for the make room here. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm perfectly fine with this one being our F tier because it is the only one in the series. Where it's a possession film. It's a possession film, it's but, not but we really also a Freddy movie. we also it, it it breaks the laws that was established in the first film with Freddie being able to appear in the real world without yeah, the without anybody being asleep. Exactly. Yeah, it's a, and and that that alone uh, deserves to t- to take it down like another peg, honestly, because it breaks what was established. Yeah, and then we reestablish what was done. In the, in the first third one, one and three. Right, right. So that's why I really appreciate Three's return to form for mm. Freddy and the brought back of characters, even though they were murdered. <laughs> yeah. You know, but whatever. Yeah. Uh, and that actually, this franchise has a good history of doing that. Mm. Bringing people back to the next movie just to kill them off in the very beginning. No, the they, they really do. At least they didn't kill Heather off in the very beginning, you know, or... Nancy right. the character. But right. yeah, they didn't they didn't kill her off in the very beginning of the movie, but like we get to four and they kill off like basically all the Dream Warriors are gone. Mm-hmm. Except for Kristen, who's not even played by Patricia Arquette Patricia Arquette anymore. No. Anyway, so that is our ranking of the Let, Night let us know Street. if you agree with us. If you don't agree with us, drop a comment. Tell us what you think we got wrong. For sure. Um but yes, this is our thoughts on our how, opinions. Yep. I mean take everything we say with a grain of salt. We're That's not right. we're not perfect. We are infallible. Or we are not infallible. <laughs> I am infallible. Like, fuck you. 
<laughs> but until our next ranking, be sure to slash that subscribe button, stab the like button, and ringling that grave bell so you don't get buried in the mix and you can stay up to date on all of our videos. And until next time, we will see you all in, in the, the afterlife. afterlife.